Hey viewers, I'm going to be working on these uh, SR Suntour uh, T890 uh, shocks on here, the forks. They're frozen, as you can see there's uh, rust on them and they're just frozen. So I'm going to try to take them apart, clean them, lube them and see if I can get them worked again. Um, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. So uh, first thing I want to do is remove the brakes, just get these out of the way. I'm going to cut the cable because I'm going to go ahead and replace the cables on here anyway. And I'm just going to remove them. And I'm also going to remove this uh, reflector here just to get it out of the way. Now I want to remove these uh, adjuster caps on the top here. I have a tool here that I made um, that will fit right onto here and allow me to unscrew these things. Uh, I have a video out there. If you click the link, you'll see a video on how I made this little tool. So this will just fit right on a ratchet wrench. And then I'll just loosen this, these little caps here. There's one. And there's two. Well, now that I got these caps off, I'm not quite sure exactly how they come apart. So, because there's some stuff in there. Uh, why don't I try to pull up these boats here? I might be able to lube in there to get these things freed up a little bit. Now I'm going to try to clear. So there's some little bit of a gunk down in here, like corrosion or something. I'm going to use uh, some compressed air to see if I can just blow it out of there. Like maybe rust or something in there. Try to get this thing broke, freed up. I'm going to uh, use some uh, silicone, heavy duty silicone, spray this down in there and let this soak down in. See if it's spray around down in here too. And I'll let this soak for a little bit and see if I can get this to loosen up. Okay, I want to try to get this to come up and see if I can push these out of there. And so what I'm going to do is, is like a big C-clamp and try to get this clamped in here like this and see if I can pull the lowers up. Well, it is lifting up here. Up is pushing this side out and let's see if I can get this side to break loose here. And that side came out. Cool. Now I can push these and see if I can get these out of here. Oh, they're pretty disgusting in there. And Well, the one side came out, the other side st stuck in there. That's fine. Spray a little bit more silicone down in there. <clears throat> there. So I got the, the two stacks out of there now. Okay, at the bottom of each of the, uh, the, the tubes here, there was like a little plastic cap and this part went down and I thought it was a nut, but actually it's just a little plastic cap in there and then using like a wire hanger with a little bent hook on there, I managed to get down there and pop them out, of, you know, pop them loose, turn the thing upside down and get them to fall out. So I got those out. 
Now let's see if I can uh, figure out how to drop the lowers. Okay, I think I can finally get these things dropped down. I have a uh, long 5 millimeter uh, hex T wrench here. So if I drop this down in here, I can feel it kind of lock into a bolt down there at the bottom. And then I can unscrew this. And try the other one here. Oh. And I got the little bolt out there. And I'll try this side over here. Well, all right, I got the lowers off, finally. And now I get to spend some time cleaning all this stuff up. And we'll see how it goes. I managed to get this part off of the bottom up of here just by uh, kind of twisting it around there. And now I want to get these little parts up through, uh, out of the tubes here. And it feels like there's some springs above these. So, and there's still a little screw down in here. So I'll push these up. Like that, and it looks like there's a spring and a little rubber washer here. And I'll push this one up here. There's a spring, a little rubber uh, bushing there. Okay. Now I want to clean the rust off of these uh, upper tubes here. So what I'm going to do is I have some uh, apple cider vinegar here. I've soaked uh, a paper towel, folded it up, and the rest is basically on the top little part here. So I'm going to take the paper towel and just wrap it around here. And then I'm going to let this soak for, well, most of the day. And then I'll just take a look at it later tonight. And I'll do the same thing on the other side and the apple cider vinegar should uh, dissolve the rust. And then I'll just clean them up. I have all the parts from inside the shocks right here. Um, here are the springs from the uppers. It looks like there's an elastomer on the inside there. And this, wish I could push that out. It's kind of stuck in there at the moment. Uh, Nah, if I could push that out there, I might just dump these metal springs and some mineral spares or something. These ones I might. I could pull these rubber gaskets off there. Um, these are plastic. Uh, these are plastic. So I think what I'm going to do is probably start uh, with something gentle to begin with. So I got like a little plastic bin here. I'm going to dump all these parts in here. But I got some uh, like degreaser here, so I just spray this stuff all over here. Let's just try to get some of the degreaser all over the parts in here. Work on scrubbing them. Try to get all this grease loosened up here. Yeah, it's just gonna be a time-consuming process of working on cleaning these things up in various degreasers and liquid dish soap and everything like that, but I'll get them all cleaned up. Well, I got all these parts cleaned up pretty well uh, using 
uh, a variety of degreasers, uh, mineral spirits, uh, hot water, liquid dish soap, scrub brushes, but I got them all pretty well cleaned up. And now I want to go ahead and clean the inside of the lowers. They're pretty disgusting in there. Okay, I got the lowers here, and I'm going to use uh, more of the degreaser and just spray these down inside the tubes here. Just get a lot of it down in there. And all around the... here. And I got like a tube brush. A lot of times this will work. And I can kind of get this down in there and kind of scrub around down in there. The scrub brush up here. I scrub all this stuff up, up here. But in ge general, just try to get them all as clean as you can. And try to get rid of all the old dirty grease. And then what you can do is, if you take a towel, uh, like an old rag, uh, you're going to twist it, and then twist it down inside the tube, and work its way down in there as far as possible and kind of dry that out in there and get as much of the uh, degreaser and stuff out of there. Hey, now for the unveiling of these. Pull this stuff off here and see what it looks like. It's definitely softened a lot of that stuff off there. See, like, allows me to like wipe a lot of this stuff off of there pretty easily, that rust. And now I'm going to use like some uh, citrus degreaser here, clean the outside of these tubes. Now in an effort to get some of the rust that's inside of these upper tubes here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, paper towels here and kind of twist them up a little bit and twist them down into here. Get the whole, get them go down as far as I can. Then one thing I can do is sort of untwist them a little bit, but kind of get it down there. Looks like I could get a little bit more down in here. Then I'm going to pour down a little bit of the apple cider vinegar into here to soak the paper towels until it drips out the bottom and I have a bucket down below here. And then I'll let that sit and do its work and I'll do the other side too. Okay, I've had the uh, paper towels and the vinegar inside the tubes here uh, for over a couple hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and push them out. I got a big screwdriver here and let's go ahead and shove them out here and pull them out through the top. Like that. Now to get some more of the little scale stuff out of the uh, the tubes here, I got like some steel wool. Work this down into here. And I can take the push it down, push it up, push it down. I try to get it like a little bit compressed so it kind of pushes to the outside there. And push it up through there. And then do the other side here. Now let's go ahead and just clean the inside there. So I got some, the uh, degreaser. I'm going to spray this down in there. I'll flush a lot of this old 
junk out of there. And spray this down here. The paper towel. You kind of twist this up a little bit, work it down in there. Push it down. Pull it back up. We'll do this side too. Okay, I'm actually now ready to start putting these things back together. I'm going to be looping them up with something called Slick Oleum. Uh, it's also sold under the name Slick Honey. And it's a very like slippery little uh, lubricant and it's actually very good for shocks that's uh, safe for plastics and stuff. So I'm going to put a little bit down on the uppers here. Nice thin coating on here on both of these. And then I'm going to slide these boots on just so I don't forget there. Nothing worse than putting everything on and then realizing you forgot to put the boots on. And then you take everything back off again. The next thing I want to do is put these little parts in that go in and come down through, through the bottom of there. And then there's like the two little screws in there. So what I want to do is put these screws in uh, inside there so that they come out through the bottom. Like that. And then just push them out through the bottom. So we stay like that. And then I'm going to get a nice generous coating of lubricant all over the uh, metal. One, it's going to help it for, uh, prevent it from corroding. And everything's going to smooth, slide much better in there. And then drop this down. And, and uh, just uh, be aware that there's this metal little tube here, there's a spring, and then there's a little rubber uh, uh, washer there to prevent um, it banging and everything. So there, and drop that in. That comes out through the bottom like that. Keep a rag handy because this stuff, this slick oleum, gets all over everything. Very slippery stuff. And I go ahead and wipe off these screws down here. Okay, so I've got the lowers here, and I've got these little plastic parts that came out, out of here. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to put these in, because there's like this little opening here, like this. That needs to, I believe, go facing the inside. So it needs to go all the way down to the bottom with uh, the opening here facing to the inside. So I'm just going to drop this down here into the uh, like that and then I'll drop this other one in here like this. Okay, then I got a long screwdriver here and just kind of push them down make sure that they're all the way down into place in the bottom there. There. And then there's these plastic parts here. These go on here like this. And it's got an opening here, and I'm not quite sure which direction that opening goes in. I think it goes facing in also. So I'm going to just try snapping this into place here. So it just snaps right in there like that. And then this one just snaps in there like that. And then there were some like little rubber seals that went on top of here. 
So I'm gonna snap those on there like that. Like that. Okay, now I want to uh, lube inside of there. So I'm gonna be real generous putting the slick oleum on the inside there. And just try to get all around down in there. And I probably wanna put a healthy uh, coating of uh, uh, grease, the slick oleum, right on the inside of the seal here. Just like that. And then do both sides. Get a nice generous amount of grease down in there. So that when the, uh, the, the uppers go down inside there, that it's gonna work its way down in there. And everything will be nice and coated in there. Now I'm gonna put a couple drops of uh, thread locker on these screws down here. Hopefully the screws will stay down here as I push the uh, lowers up there. I might have to put them back down there again, but we'll see. But just put a little bit of uh, the thread locker on there. Like that. Okay, now this could be challenging here, because what I need to do is get the lowers up here, and these tubes uh, here need to go inside those little black plastic tubes that are at the bottom of the uh, lowers here. So I need to kind of work these up and then get those kind of uh, inside those. And this might turn out to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see. I decided to put this down on the floor here so that I can push down and get these shocks fully compressed. And that way I can try to screw the screw in, these screws in the bottom here. One screw in. Two screws in. Okay. So now the lowers are attached to there. So let me see if I can get these down again. Okay, now I feel I'm going against the springs down there. So that's pretty cool. Now I need to put in these little stacks and these, then there was these little uh, plastic caps that were in there. These go on the bottom of these like this. So these just kind of snap onto the bottom of these springs like this. And I want to put a thick coating of grease all over these and get it worked in, get it inside into where it's hitting the elastomer in there. And that's part of the problem is that probably wasn't enough lubrication in there and it got wet and got water in there and corroded and, and like that. So I'm going to drop this down in there like that. And the white cap goes on top. And slide this in there like this. Okay, now I need to put these little adjuster caps on. What I'm gonna do is screw these out a little bit and put a little bit of slick oleum on these threads here, just so that these go nice and smoothly. And just around these threads here. And then I'm gonna screw them back in because uh, I don't need to have a ton of preload on them as I'm installing the caps in there. And then start these in by hand. Then using my uh, homemade uh, adjuster cap tool, I'll screw these in. Then use my wrench to kind of tighten it. And it doesn't need to be super tight because remember these are just plastic 
And so you don't want to strip out the threads. Yep. Connect the boots down onto the little seals down there. They're just going to snap into place there like that. Well, I got the shocks all put back together, all except for like this brake cable here, but I'm going to redo all the brake cables, all the, all the cables on here. And so I'm going to do that separately. Anyway, um, they, 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 they move. They're, they're still kind of stiff, but before they didn't move at all. So I think once uh, the bike is ridden a bit, they're going to loosen up and everything is just smoothing out a little bit as the grease, everything gets all worked around in and there. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope you, uh, you, know, if you found it useful or helpful. Uh, please click like on there. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos and it helps me out. And uh, if you're not on my Facebook page, go over to Facebook and look for my page, RJ the Bike Guy. Like the page and I post a lot of stuff out there and uh, you might see some cool stuff over there. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and you'll see new videos as they come out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.